You know the kind of clickbait where the title tells you one thing to entice your appetite and you click it only to find out that the content has nothing to do with the title? Well, this is not it. Because look, I have just claimed the throne. Hey, my fellow fake online friends, welcome to another video of Sunflower Land. My name is RV and in this video, I will show you my secret to get more mermaid scale from planting your crops. Before we start, I will be super grateful if you can smash that like and subscribe buttons so that you won't miss out tips and tricks like this and we can all happily eat our sauerkraut. Crap, crowd, crude. Kraut, sauerkraut. Now, to be fair, I believe that my number one spot here is quite temporary because I took that screenshot in the middle of the day and there's probably more players who haven't finished their chores today. But for the past few days, I have been consistently placing in the top 20 and I believe that a big part of it is because of the not so obvious trick that I'm about to share with you, the key to winning the season. If you've been in the past season, you will know that there are two main keys to winning the season and claim the best seasonal items. Number one, completing and claiming all. And with all, I mean all. Daily chores, daily deliveries, daily chess, and birds obsession. These are everything within your control to win. Of course, there were rare cases where players missed out a few of this and were still able to rank at the top. But hey, that's only because of key number two. Your bonus mermaid scales dropped from harvesting crops. Now this one is pretty much out of your control as it's RNG dependent and has become the reason that other players are way ahead of you on the leaderboard even though you have done everything you could. But this is exactly what we are going to talk about on how to increase the chance and frequency of getting bonus mermaid scale from crops. How does the bonus drop work? To crack this, we have to understand how is the drop rate of bonus seasonal ticket calculated. If you look at this announcement back when the bonus drop was introduced, Adam explained that crops take longer time to grow will also have higher chance of yielding a seasonal ticket. For example, a 55 second sunflower has 55 over 2,592,000 of chance of yielding a ticket, while a 24 hour radish has a 86,400 over 2,592,000 chance of yielding a ticket. And if you're wondering, 86,400, that's how many seconds they are in the 24 hours. Now, this also means that instant crops will have 0% chance of yielding a ticket. Again, if you're wondering what instant crop is, this is referring to the 30% chance of instant crop drop that the angel wing or devil wing gives you, but not, not you, gives them them. Based on what we understand, here is a list of all crops available with the original planting duration and their respective seasonal ticket drop rate. Please note that if you have a farming buff that reduces your planting duration, the drop rate will be reduced as well. Now because of the quote unquote, crops that take longer time to grow will have a higher chance of yielding a seasonal ticket. Most top players chose to plant long hour crops to increase their chance of getting extra seasonal tickets. But wait a second, isn't the same if I were to plant a 60 minute crop 24 cycles a day compared to planting just one cycle of 24 hour crop? Well, trust me, I've asked the same question and apparently mathematically it is the same. But for some reason that I cannot seem to fathom to, planting the long hour crops just works better for most top players. Could it be because of the time one waste between planting different short hour crops? Could it be because the season is not long enough for the theorized probability to fully work out? I don't know, but I've chosen to plant mostly Kyle 2, which is the longer hour crop available in the game. The trick. So, there are two parts for this trick. The first one is of course, yep, you've guessed it, the fertilizer. Rapid root reduces crop growth time by a massive 50%. This will allow you to enjoy the highest drop rate at only half of the usual time. To do this, simply plant the long hour crop of your choice and then apply the rapid root once you are done. If you don't know how to get your hands on rapid root yet, you should check out a video where I explain everything you need to know about fishing and composting. But is Kyle really the longest hour crop that gives highest drop rate though? Well, that's my segue to part two of the trick. Increasing the longest hour crop 
to even longer. Pardon my grammar there. To do that, listen carefully. Remove every duration buff that you have in your farm. As you can see, after removing my Sephiroth Bud, Luna Calendar, and Scarecrow, my Kyle is now at around 34 hours instead of the original 23 hours. This should now give me 4.7% chance to get an extra mermaid scale. And that's one out of every 21 crops on average. But a big, huge, but you will eventually run out of rapid root fertilizer to use. So this is not something that you can do every single day. Well, if you always do composting on time, you should have 20 rapid roots a day. And if you have 40 plots, that means you can do this trick once every two days. You do the math for your own case. Or if you don't mind, you can just let the 34 hour crops sit there. For me, I always want my plots to be clean at zero UTC so I can always be ready for the next day's chore. And of course, you can ignore the part two of the trick and just use the rapid route for two cycles a day, but that will probably burn a hole in your fertilizer bank pretty quickly. I started doing this diligently since close to the end of last seasonal race and it has worked out all right for me. I was able to stay in the top 20 last season and maintain a Luna hat, which I really loved. However, please note that this will only increase the chance and frequency of the bonus drop and like any other RNG dependent case, it would not guarantee high seasonal ticket yield. I guess what I'm really saying there is, please don't come back and bite me if it doesn't work out for you. So far, touch wood, I've not had zero mermaid scale from doing this, and I couldn't even start counting the number of times that I've planted a 23-hour Kyle last season just for absolutely nothing. So as long as you don't get more mermaid scale than me, I guess all the best with getting them with this trick. Look, I wanted to ask you to share this video with others, but I would totally understand too if you want to keep this to yourself. But oh, come on, at least hit the like and subscribe button, will you? Meanwhile, if you don't want to miss out more Sunflower Land gameplay, strategy, and walkthrough contents like this, make sure you turn on the notification bell and I will see you in the next video.